Good morning and happy Vlogmas day two. I am so, so excited to rock with you guys today. It was a fabulous day one. We are still kind of waking up over here, but we are ready for day two and I'm sipping on my coffee. I have already had my celery juice, I've already had my fueling number one, and I am just taking it one step at a time today because we're here at our new campsite, we're feeling like we're settling into our new little home, and now, today, the next day, is typically a bunch of prep for the next week. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along today for a little bit of our prep for the week as we also kind of settle back into routine. I got Miss Lulu with me today, and I will also just kind of preface this, Zach, <laughs> I know I've been talking about how he's not been feeling the greatest. Yesterday, I feel like it just honestly kind of took it out of him. We thought he was on the mend, but I feel like yesterday and moving all day, it just like, I don't know, I think it kind of set us back a couple days. So I'm trying to let him rest as much as he can while he also is gonna try and get some editing done, but I just wanna kind of let him do his own thing. So today, you and me, girlfriend, we're gonna be hanging out. So I have my coffee, I'm gonna be sipping on this. I've actually got a call coming up here. And then I think, just because typically we would go to the gym right around this time especially since we're closer to the gym at this campground just because I'm not going with Zach and I just kind of want him to rest I think I'm gonna just take a walk around the campground take Miss Lulu on a walk if you guys don't know Lulu being a boxer puppy I think I've voiced this before but like she literally has to get out every single day no matter what because she has so much energy in fact almost every single day we have to make at least one trip to the DOG PARK okay we are not gonna be saying those words around here because yeah so we might even have to take a trip there today, but I'm just going to be taking you guys along with me today as we also get some groceries for the week. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of meal prep. I've just got stuff I wanna do to like really settle into our new campground here, make it feel a little bit more at home, and I'll be bringing the camera along because it is Vlogmas day two. So I'm so excited, you guys. Um, I'm also probably gonna do something with this hair. Um, the heatless curls, those are pretty cool, but uh, not when your hair is like so, so dirty that the curls don't even look good in it. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna try to get a hair wash in at some point today, but uh, we will continue the festive vibes. Happy Vlogmas Day 2, and let's get started. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring, it will always be Christmas in my heart. But okay, friends, I did the full body full well not body just the full shower you know like the full shower you know what I'm saying and uh, feeling like a brand new woman um, I did not get my hair completely blown dry I think I'm gonna let it like kind of air dry the rest of the way and I don't think I'm gonna put makeup on I just I have such a hard time putting makeup on after I do like a full shower you know what I mean like I just wanted to breathe a little bit so may not put makeup on today but I am going to head out and get some groceries and before that I just wanted to let you guys know I am in the middle of setting up my new dash and this is so stinking cute. This is the one that Jamie sent me with the interchangeable plates and I wanna show you guys what this looks like. This is like a meaty dash mini waffle maker. I've got it out of the box and you guys, look how big this thing is. I don't know if you guys can really tell how meaty this is. Like here's my other one. Can you guys see the difference? This is so much bigger than this one. And there's a light on the top that's white versus the blue from the old ones. So I'm getting ready to set it up because I want to have some festive mini waffles in the morning. You know what I'm saying? And it comes with obviously the regular waffle maker on the inside, but what's so cool about this is the fact that it comes with different plates and it comes with its own little like container to store them. So I was kind of thinking I wanted to put in a Christmas one. Like I think I want to do, yeah, yeah, the little gingerbread. Let me see if I can figure out how to like get this one out. Put this one in, one sec. Okay, Zach's got something in the air fryer so that just turned back on. So it just said to like click this little release. I think it's a release on the top and the bottom and they come out. Let's click it and see if it does that. Oh, look how cool that is. So it just pops out like this. Wow. Okay, okay, so here's the bottom of our little gingerbread guy and it says bottom right there So I think we're supposed to just 
I don't know. Do you just pop it in there? Oh, look at that. It's in place. Okay, I just want to let you guys know that I just spent the last 10 minutes trying to find the top, <laughs> the matching top of this guy, and it's because there's not a matching top. You're supposed to use the waffle as the top. So this one just stays in place. We put him back in here. Did it, did it click? And then basically it shows this on the bottom and this on the top and then you flip it and it'll still show the little gingerbread guy. Oh my God, I was so confused. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, there's our little dash gingerbread. I'm so excited to use this. Let's go ahead and make one real quick right now before I head to the store. I'm gonna try doing my cinnamon roll cake mix in here. I think that would be so fun with the gingerbread. Let's try it. Christmas in my heart. Okay, so it's steaming and I think it's been like two minutes-ish. It's been a while. I've only like once put my cinnamon roll in the dash since it's such a brand new fueling. So let's open it up. Let's see what we got. This might be a mess, but let's see. Okay, looks cooked. So I'm assuming there's a little gingerbread on the other side. Let's pop it out. Ooh, I'm so excited. I need both hands for this. Oh, you guys look how cute. Except this is like little morphed of a head, but I still think it's, you can still see the little gingerbread. This is so freaking cute. Look at this little gingerbread. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have my fueling right now. This is my third fueling for the day. Typically I would start having some of my protein, but I really try to get stuff done during the day while there's daylight, if you know what I'm saying. Like, as soon as it hits like five o'clock, there's no, like the sun's down, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and scarf this down. This is my cinnamon roll cake mix with my little gingerbread man, so cute. And uh, we're gonna head to the store and get some groceries for some lean greens, and I will check back in with you guys in a bit. Christmas in my heart And I can promise Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Guys, just left the store and I was gonna wait till I got home to do a full grocery haul, but uh, I feel like I'm losing daylight. I feel, is anybody else going through this? <laughs> like, I feel like literally ever since the time change, I'm just like up against the clock. And I think it's also just being in RV life, so much of it is outdoors that like you need that daylight. <laughs> I don't know, it might be just me, but um, Anyway, I just feel like I'm constantly on a freaking time clock, you know? Um, so anyway, let me show you guys what we got at Target. Um, I tried to pick up everything I could for Lean and Greens throughout the rest of this week. Also some stuff for Lulu's food. As you guys have probably seen in the last few vlogs, we do kind of a half and half diet for her. We do like more whole foods and then a little bit of kibble. We don't want her to be on kibble, but the problem is she had this whole thing that happened when we first came to Florida that like got stuck in her system and the kibble is the only thing that makes sure she's got some solid you know what. Um, so anyway, it's a whole thing. That'll be like, a story time for another day. But anyway, we got some stuff for Lulu, stuff for me, some fun stuff for Vlogmas, and uh, all the things. Let me show you what we got. You guys have been seeing that I am a celery juice fiend, and I'm just telling you, if you aren't juicing your veggies, or at least tried it, I feel like the minute you do that, you never go back because it's so freaking easy. It's like, how could you like, you know, not at least try it once because it just makes it so simple. So anyway, I got two packs of pre-chopped celery so that I can make my celery juice in the mornings. And I actually am thinking about if I have time tonight, juicing these tonight so that I can just have them ready to go for tomorrow because I don't have any for tomorrow morning. So we'll have to do that. Also, I have been loving, if you guys have been following on Instagram, I've been loving air fryer chicken. I finally feel like I have the hang of the air fryer, you guys. It was so intimidating when I first got it. But now that it's like my tried and true because we're in RV life, I needed to really get the hang of it and quick because we don't really use our oven. So our air fryer is basically our oven. So I'm doing air fryer chicken and I will show you guys whenever I make this, probably tomorrow, um, how I do our air fryer like chicken, diced chicken bites. This counts as a leaner on your plan. Then I got two packs of an 18 count egg. I'm not gonna pull out the other one because there's two of them here. But anyway, two packs of eggs. You guys, we go through eggs a lot in our house. So I, you guys probably saw we also make one for Lulu in the morning. Zach has a bunch of eggs. So anyway, we've got eggs coming out of our ears. They didn't have the salted 
caramel whipped cream. I was a little bummed about that, so I got marshmallow, but I think this is also gonna be good on top of my hot chocolates in the evenings. I'm also planning to make my Optavia peppermint bark coming up here soon, and you need the Chobani Zero Sugar milk and cookies. This is the one that I like for that, so I grabbed one of those. A little bit of garlic powder. I love this on my chicken, and we were almost out. A little bit of peppermint extract for my peppermint bark. And then I kind of hate that I did this, but like I'm just gonna do it for today again because it's just like I've, it's been so crazy today. I got two more of my Chobani Zero Sugar yogurts and the drinkable kind is like so freaking easy. Like how do you not do that every once in a while? Because it's like, this is literally a full leanest on my plan. Each one of these is gonna count as a half a leanest. So if you have two, it's gonna be a full leanest. And I know I literally did this yesterday for one of my leaning greens, but because because I don't have any of this prepped yet, I'm like, I don't wanna make two meals tonight. So I'm just gonna do two Chobani Zero Sugars and these are both gonna count as one leanest and then I'll just have to do two healthy fats, which I already did one healthy fat today because I did it as half and half in my coffee. So these are gonna be delicious and I'm just actually gonna sip on these on my way home from the store. So that was perfect. I got the strawberry cheesecake and the mixed berry. I think I told you guys my favorite is the peaches and cream, but honestly, they're all good. Like there's no problem with that. Okay, we got one more bag. Okay, have you guys seen this? I showed on my I showed on my channel when the vanilla came out of the Nespresso pods and now they have caramel <sighs> just life made I am a caramel kind of girl I've been doing vanilla for a while just because that's all they really had but they are making flavored pods now and they have caramel I'm so excited to try these I saw these at the store the while back but I hadn't taken the plunge yet and we're gonna take the plunge together maybe we'll do that in the morning tomorrow then also got some mini cukes for our little baby Lulu. I am so excited about this. Is this not the cutest freaking thing? We've got a dog treat decorating kit. I just, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Lulu is basically my child. <laughs> and I want to do all the fun things with her and isn't this so cute? I mean, it's not like she's going to be decorating them, but I think it'll be fun to decorate maybe Zach and I and we can give her one like, you know, here and there, but I just think these are so stinking cute. Like, I mean, I, that's the thing. Like you guys really have to find fun Christmas activities that don't involve you consuming a ton of sweets and sugar and all of those kinds of things. This is perfect. I can't eat these, you know what I mean? Like this is so much fun. It'll be a fun little Christmas activity, especially for Vlogmas and I give it to my dog. <laughs> like I just I feel like this would be so fun so grab those and then also for Lulu three pounds of ground chicken I got three pounds in here and uh, that's the biggest thing that she has in her meal every single time so other than that we are stocked up on groceries for hopefully the week I am gonna head home and get things started hopefully get my celery juice juiced I'll let you know when we do that but for now I'm gonna sip on those two Chobani zero sugar yogurts get those going and I will see you guys in a bit <laughs> Okay guys, so really quick, I'm gonna show you my next meal cause I gotta get to juicing my celery after this. But I'm gonna go ahead and have the last portion of my protein. I have weighed out another five ounces of my 93% beef, same as yesterday, but I'm gonna add a couple different things cause I don't have avocado today. So one of my newest and favorite healthy fats is actually the chili crunch oil. And I know this like went viral on TikTok for a while there, it probably still is. I add just a teaspoon and a half for one healthy fat. It's just about the right measurements for your for your fat and your carbs all that so I just add a teaspoon and a half be careful with this because this is chili crunch oil and it's a little bit spicy so if you don't like spicy I get it but by the way I did not like spicy either and I think it's all Zach's fault that now I like spicy things so I'm gonna add my chili crunch oil right over the top and then again I'm gonna do my two tablespoons of my reduced fat feta Two tablespoons is gonna count as one condiment for my day. I'm gonna mix it all up and there we have it. Now I know this is super basic, but like you can't tell me that that doesn't sound delicious. I'm just saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the rest of my protein here and then we'll start the celery juice process. All right, you guys, I am going to be starting the celery juice process. I have everything laid out here. I also just tuned in for the whole live premiere of Vlogmas day one and it was so much fun. I've never like done a premiere on my channel before, but I was like, you know, if there was ever a time to do a premiere, I think it should be for Vlogmas. <laughs> so anyway, we did that. It was so much fun for everybody who tuned in and commented live. Maybe we'll do that for the next ones, like moving forward. That'd be kind of fun. Um, if we get it edited in time, that's the real deal. So comment below. Should we do premieres for the next few Vlogmas? 
let me know. Um, I've got Christmas with the Cranks on, actually one of my favorites this season. I love this movie, but I have never loved it more than this year, and I think I've watched it like 10 times already. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this on, but also start the celery juice process. So let me show you what we're working with. I'm not gonna like show the whole thing because it's kind of a process, but I'm gonna show you kind of what I do nowadays to juice my celery and get all six greens with my celery juice. So here's the current concoction. This is the juicer that I got off Timu. Can you believe it? It actually has held up. It is not the nicest thing you've ever worked with, but it'll do the trick. I have a whole video on my channel talking about how I juice without a juicer using nut milk bags. So if you don't have a juicer, you can do that. But I just got a juicer off Timu for super cheap and it has done the trick. So I've got my juicer here. And then you guys saw we got pre-washed celery at Target tonight. I've got my scale ready to go. And then I've got all of my celery juice containers all ready to go to have juice in them. So here's how we're going to do it. Just so you know, I'm going to be doing six greens. So this is going to be 303 grams on my scale. But if you're on your five and one plan and you just want to do three greens, it would be 151.5 grams. So first things first, I have my scale right here. I'm going to weigh out 303 grams. All right. All right. We are just about there. Maybe a little to top it off. Perfect. So 303 grams right here, and this is gonna go directly into my juicer. So we are plugged in. I just need to take out the, whatever this is called. <laughs> I've got my celery ready to go in, and it's gonna come out the side right here. Turn it on to the first setting, and we will go in. By the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be. I will be home. Turn it off. And my celery juice is right in here. So now I'm just gonna take one of my celery juice containers, pop off the lid. And then this actually has like a little kind of strainer so you don't get as much of the pulp. All of the pulp is left inside the juicer, but there's a little bit that comes out in the actual juice. So this kind of strains it right here. And I'm gonna pour it right into my cup. Don't care of anything else. And you can see a little bit of pulp is just left in the bottom, but my juice is right here. Pop the top on, and there we have it. Freshly juiced celery, 303 grams for six greens, or if you wanna do three greens for your five and one, it would just be 151.5 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and juice the rest of my celery, and I will show you guys where we end up. All right, and here we have it. We have our celery juiced. So two of those packs made about four containers of our celery juice and you know it totally depends on where you get it i've gotten mine from Publix before i my favorite place to get the best celery for celery juice is whole foods but i haven't seen one of those around here so Publix or target is it and this is gonna last me for the next four days so we'll stock up in a little bit but uh yeah nothing better than fresh celery juice and can you believe i just have to down this entire thing in the morning to get all of the gut health benefits all of the digestive benefits all of those kinds of things in the morning plus it's all of my greens for the day. I'm just saying, hack of the century. Now time to clean the juicer. That's the worst part. But if you guys are looking for a super, super affordable juicer, I will link the one that I got off Timu. You can probably find better ones out there, but if you're just looking for one that's for cheap just to make your celery juice in the mornings, I would recommend it. So celery juice, done. That's a good look, huh? That's a good look. Uh, Lulu wants to join in here. I think you need to go to bed little miss. Okay, so I'm in the middle of doing heatless curls for tonight. Lulu is apparently going to be part of this clip. And uh, I'm going to do the other side. I also made myself a creamy chocolate shake for fueling number four. And uh, I'm going to sip on this while we finish up our movie and get this in. So I did one side already. And honestly, it just kind of feels like I'm French braiding, which I haven't French braided in forever. And I was never really good at it on myself. I was good at it on other people. But... <laughs> What you need was going on. Yeah. Oh gosh, she's trying to get in my lap. Okay, so really, it's like French braiding, but like way easier. And this is dry hair. <laughs> I can't. 
Can you please just give me a minute? Like, I, you were so chill. All right, so this side is dry and I just washed it. So the last time I did heatless curls on just washed hair, it didn't work very well. I think it was, honestly, it turned out a little too frizzy. So we're gonna see if that happens again. But all you have to do is put this thing on the top of your head with the little clip to hold it there. I've been sleeping in the clip because I'm scared that it's gonna fall out, but maybe I don't need the clip. And I already did this side. So I just take a chunk of hair from the top layer and then instead of doing a full like three piece thing, I just grab more hair and then I just wrap it around. So that's, at least that's what I've seen. All you have to do, that's like in all the tutorials I've seen, I'm sure there's like tips and tricks to get like less curls on top and more curls on bottom. I wanna say you can get smaller curls or tighter curls. My AC just turned on, I'm sorry about that. It's Christmas. I'm gonna finish up my creamy chocolate shake. I'll put all of the calculations right on the screen just so you guys can see how everything broke down on my four and two plan today. I did get in one scoop of my Optavia active EAAs. I like to do at least one scoop on days that I'm like mildly active. So I did go on a couple walks today, but we didn't make it all the way to the gym. So on gym days, I definitely do two scoops, but on like mild days, I do one and I forgot it the day before on moving day. So trying to get back into the habit with my routine with those. I had one scoop this morning and then I'll do another scoop tomorrow. So. It'll be fun times tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3, but thank you so much for tuning in for Vlogmas Day 2. This feels so weird to be doing this outro with this weird hair, but uh, trust the process, right? Hope you all have a fabulous rest of your night. Happy Day 2, and hope to see you on Vlogmas Day 3. Bye, guys.